So I'm back to bring you two more videos. My vlog has just uploaded, so be sure to check it out. However, I'm here to do two normal videos. Now, first video I'm going to talk about is the whole Raheem Sterling situation. Now, if you don't remember, I did a video a couple of months ago, I believe it was May. Um, speaking about Raheem Sterling, speaking about how the media... Yes, the white-owned media in this country have been going so hard at him for months. And now he's basically had enough of it. He's actually written, he written a post, I believe it was on Instagram, and he's basically told him to basically fuck off and leave him alone. For lack of a better term. He didn't actually say that, but, you know, I'm basically just conveying the message that, you know, he's literally reached his breaking point. And if you don't know about Raheem Sterling, like I mentioned before, he's a 24-year-old England football player. He was born in Jamaica. Now, I'm starting to believe that part of the reason they're going at him, obviously because he's black and partly because he's Jamaican, you know, I'm sorry to say, but a lot of times when it comes to Jamaican people, the media can be very negative when it comes to someone who was born there or someone who's who is of jamaican heritage you know so i'm starting to believe that is part of the reason why they're going after him so hard but we're not going to we're not going to ignore the racism that happens in this country that's not what we're going to do because that unfortunately is counterproductive and a lot of people are under this illusion that if we just ignore racism it will go away you know, you ignore it until they literally tell you about your black bastard self. So there's literally no point in ignoring it. It's a waste of time. What I've just shown you is just a small little example of how the media targets Raheem Sterling. They are very, very negative in how they talk about him in their articles their journal articles they're very very negative and it's like constant like he went they had um this one the main newspaper is the sun they're the ones who mainly go after him the daily mail is absolutely foul they go after him as well the mirror it's literally all these white these white owned media publications they're very very negative and you know it's to do with racism like you cannot deny it now i believe it was last weekend um he was called he was called um a black cunt by chelsea by chelsea fans by white chelsea fans he was called a black cunt or something along those lines or you black bastard or something like that and i'm just thinking when you look back at the history of football fans and footballers like racism goes hand in hand in this country like when it comes to black football players there's been a history of racism that's been targeted at them not just by the football fans but also by the media and i also think it's because raheem sterling he's still young and because he's basically on top now that's why they're reporting on him so much however you would think they would report less on the negative side but more in a positive spin on it but that's not what they're going to do i mean they criticized the man for going on holiday and he flew with easyjet they're basically trying to say you've got all this money but you're just flowing by easyjet like like you can't just use something that he's comfortable with or the other time he went to this we have this um uh, what do I call it, this clothing store here in the UK called Primark and he bought some clothes from Primark and basically they criticised him from that so it's just like it's ridiculous and there was another time he went on holiday with two of his three more friends and they referred to him as love rat as a love rat because he was seen with two women don't know, don't know if he was cheating with his partner. 
They had absolutely no evidence, but because he was photographed with two women, that's that's their excuse for calling him a love rat. Okay. However, have you noticed that when David Beckham was cheating on his wife, the language used was vastly different. So was he not a love rat, as you call it? And I also criticised him because he got a gun tattooed on his ankle. I mentioned this in my last video. He had a gun tattooed on his ankle that was in that was done as a tribute to his father who died when he was two years old back in Jamaica. And they criticised him for that. Now Piers Morgan gets on my damn nerves because Piers Morgan was criticising him for that tattoo. And now he's speaking out kind of in defence of... Raheem Sterling, however, his defence is to say what's happening to him is not racism. But yet it's still wrong for them to be talking about him like that. I'm like, Peter, is your brain even functioning? Seriously, how many times do I have to go after you because you, you, just, you just sit there, you chat so much nonsense? Like, why do you even have a platform? You don't even make a blind bit of sense. In fact, Piers Morgan, how many times must you be told? Yeah, you need to keep quiet because you attack black women. You clearly have a hate for them. And you clearly have a hate for women in general. And now, you're there trying to defend Raheem Sterling. Nobody is fooled by your foolishness. Nobody is. We all know why you're doing it because you want to get attention. Well, I ain't going to give you no attention. Now, I'm going to show you another picture of a white football player and notice how notice this is scrapping the discrepancies between how they show Raheem, how to do an article headline about Raheem Sterling and this white football player. Look at it. So if you didn't see it, so the first one I showed is said young Man Manchester City footballer twenty on twenty five thousand a week splashes out on mansion on market for two point twenty five million despite having never started a Premier League match. And then the other one says Manchester City starlet Phil Foden buys new two million home for his mum. That's it. That's all I have to say. You know, like. Do you see this? Do you see the absolute madness? Like, do you literally see the madness? Like, they have these white owned media have no right to criticize this man like this but yet they insist on criticizing him because the agenda is to attack black men no matter how they feel no matter how they feel they're going to keep attacking black men so that's what they're doing that's the agenda they're going to keep attacking raheem sterling and i am not surprised that he had this to say He said, good morning, I just want to say I am not normally the person to talk a lot but when I think I need my point to be heard, I will speak up. Regarding what was said at the Chelsea game, as you can see by my reaction, I just had to laugh because I don't expect no better. For example, you have two young players starting out their careers, both play for the same team, both have done the right thing, which is buy a new house for their mothers who have put in a lot of time and love into helping them get where they are but look how the newspapers get their message across for the young black player and then for the young white player i think this is unacceptable i think this is unacceptable both are innocent and have not done a thing wrong but just by the way it is worded this young black kid is looked at in a bad light which helps fuel racism and aggressive behavior so for all the newspapers that don't understand why people are racist in this in this day and age, all I have to say is have a second thought about fair publicity and give all players an equal chance. That's right, Raheem. Tell them. So, you know, if you don't get the picture, Daily Mail, The Sun, The Mirror, whoever... Like, if you don't get the picture by now, then clearly you never will. Clearly you never will get the picture. So, yeah. So, all i got to say is, leave Raheem the rasshole alone. Left the man be, man, jeez. 
And in fact, leave all black men and black women alone. And black children, because I know how you go after black children as well. They're not innocent in your two items. Alright, I'm gone. Bye.